Hey there, in this video you will learn how you can back up your notes from Microsoft OneNote into your Google Drive. Guys, Microsoft OneNote is a great place to save your important notes, your thoughts, but it's always a good idea to have a backup of your important notes in case something happens to your device or the OneNote service. So, and by backing up your notes in Google Drive, you can ensure that your notes are safe and easily accessible from any device. So I'm going to show you an automation process which is going to take the backup of your notes automatically in your Google Drive whenever you add any note page in MS OneNote. And we can set up this automation without any coding super simply. So let's begin. To set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description so that you can sign up for free from here. And you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and select the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up your automation workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give the name here. So after giving such kind of names, you can click on this create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of our automation. Trigger is that event which starts our workflow and the action is an automated consequence of the trigger. In this case, guys, we are creating a note in OneNote, Microsoft OneNote that is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be to create a file in Google Drive in which you have that note contained. Okay. So here in the trigger, when you click, it will ask to choose the trigger application. So in our case, OneNote, Microsoft OneNote is our trigger application. So select that. Then you have to select the trigger event as new page in notebook. Okay, select this option. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with OneNote. All right, so it might bring you to the login window of Microsoft, but I have already logged in. So when you already logged in, it will ask to provide the uh, these kind of access to your Microsoft account that is completely safe. You just have to click on yes and you will be connected with uh, Microsoft OneNote in a few moments. All right, so we are now connected and here you can see it has started asking for the notebook's name. So let me show you, this is my OneDrive account and this is a notebook I am in named as Pabli Team. So when you click here, it will show you the list of the notebooks that you have. And here you can see you have this Pabli Team option selected. Okay. And after that, click on save and send test request button and it will fetch the most recent page that you have added in your notebook. Okay. Let me show you that. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see we have received this data and it is showing the title of the page as new test page. Okay. This is the name of the title of the page. Okay. And here you can see the section name is YouTube team. Okay. And this is the creation date and time of the page. Okay. Let me show you that. This is my uh, notebooks name. This is the section YouTube team. And here you can see guys, new test pages here new test page. This is captured here. Okay. But here you can see we do not have the data of the page. Okay. So here you can see in my note page, I have two line notes. Okay. Two line of notes here, but we didn't receive these two lines here anywhere. Okay. In this response. Now to capture the details of the lines of the notes, we are going to use this action step. In this action step, I'm going to connect with OneNote once again. And let me show you. Just select OneNote. And here you will find an action event which is going to get you the page details. So here we have get page details option selected. Then click on connect button. 
Now guys, we are already connected with Microsoft OneNote in the trigger and every connection that you make is saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again, you can use that saved connection. For that, you just have to select this existing connection option. Here it will show you the list of your saved connections. From here you can choose anyone and then click on save one more time and you will be connected again. And here it is asking for the ID of the page. Okay. And here you can see in the previous response, we have received this ID here. In the ID label, we have received this ID. Okay. So this is the pages ID and I'm going to map this page ID here in this field to get the details of the page. So to map the ID, you just have to click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will see the data right here. So from here, map this ID label. Okay. Like this, and then click on save and send test request button. And the details of the page will be here like this. You can see now we have received uh, the title of the page. And when you scroll down, you will find these labels body div P zero here. We got the first line of the note body div P one here. We got the second line of the note. Okay. Now guys, uh, I want to create a file, a document file in Google Drive in which we, I want to save these two things, these two lines of the note I have. Okay, but we have received the notes in different labels here. First line is, is in this label, second line is in this label. Okay, so it will be inconvenient to use different labels to map uh, the data because uh, you can have many lines inside a note. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to toggle the simple response button to off. Then I'm going to click on save and send test request one more time so that we can get uh, the, all of the lines in a array. Okay. Let me show you. So here I'm clicking on save and send test request button one more time. And now you can see we have received only one label body div P and here is an array in this array. We got both of the lines in these comma separated values. Okay. Right. That's how you can receive your notes in an array. Now guys, uh, what I want, I just want the lines, not this angle brackets, not these inverted commas and apostrophe commas. Okay. So I'm going to remove the extra things by using some features of public connect. So here click on this plus icon and another action step will open up in public connect have a feature which is called text formatter. Select text formatter from this window. And here I'm going to use an action event which is called text parser. Text parser is going to parse out the data between two given string of uh, integers or symbols or words. Okay. You select this option, then click on connect button. All right, and it will be connected. And here it is asking uh, from which text you want to parse out something. So here is the text array, and I'm going to map this label here in this field. Just click here, and from the second step, map this body divp array. And here it is asking text match after. So I want that after this uh, double quote, double quote, this line should be fetched. And this line should be fetched before this double code, this line should be fetched. So in the text match after I'm going to put this angle bracket and the double code, the sorry, this one, the right hand side angle bracket and a double code. And in the text match before field, I'm going to uh, put double quotation and the closing angle bracket. Okay, let me put it. All right. Now click on save and send test request button and your data will be passed out between these angle brackets. You can see now in the result label, we got the two lines as this line one comma comma line two. Okay. Still we have these two quotations and a comma here between these two things. You can remove these two things also by clicking on plus sign or what you can do. I'm going to use this text formatter once again. So we can just copy this step to copy this step. Click on these three dots, then click on copy step option. Okay. 
and then click on three dots again and then click on paste step and the same step will be pasted here like this and here guys in place of this text text parser I'm going to use another action event of text formatter which is called um, replace text so you will find this replace text option here then click on connect button here in the text now I am going to map this label the previous result label in which we got this these two lines separated out of angle bracket okay map this here from the last step okay and here it is asking uh, what is the thing that you want to find out from this text and you want to replace it with what thing so here I want to replace these double quotations and the comma so I'm going to put the double quotation here like this then a, then a comma then double quote okay and I want to rip I want to replace this thing uh, with a blank and I want that these two lines should be like this only uh, one line then after that second line below the first line in the same format I want the text okay and I want to keep this text keep these notes line in the same format in a document that I'm creating okay so I'm just cloning this document from one note in my Google Drive okay so I want the format not to change also so for that here in the replace field I'm going to put slash n so when you put slash n what it will do it will bring these two lines one by one below uh, one after the other just like this only in the same format let me show you I'm clicking on save and send test request now and here you can see we got the result label and here you can see we got this result label and uh, okay so it literally replaced uh, the commas by slash and okay so I have used the wrong slash here I should use the backward slash not the forward slash okay now click on save and send test request one more time and now we got the desired result you can see we got the lines one by one uh, first line after that second line below the first line this is the same format we got here in the note page now we can use this data okay now this data I want to be converted into a file a documented file in Google Drive for that just click here on this plus icon another action step will open up here we are going to connect with Google Drive select Google Drive option and here I'm going to use an action event which is create a file in specific folder so guys let's say you have a folder in your Google Drive let me show you so guys this is the folder I have in my Google Drive I have named it as OneNote files okay so in this folder I want to save my notes of OneNote so for this use the action event as create a file in a specific folder okay then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on sign in with Google and from this window you have to choose that Google account by which you have the access to your drive in which you have created the folder so select that Google account and then you have to provide some additional access to your account that is completely safe just click on continue from here and the authorization will be successful and you will be connected with your drive okay and then it will ask you to select your folder so when you click here it will show you the list of all the folders that you have from here you can choose the relevant folder which is this one OneNote files I have here and here it is asking the for the files name that you want to create so guys I'm going to create a file on the name of the page title that I have okay in my note page this is my uh, notes title note pages title so with this name only I want to create a file in Google Drive so for that I'm just going to click here and from this first step oh, sorry from the second step you can find this head title label in which you can see the pages title you can just map it here okay and then select the files type as document okay obviously we do not want to create a sheet or form I just want to create a document so select document then click on save and send test request button 
and your document will be generated. But this document that has been generated will be a blank document. And now we need to put some data inside that document as well, which is my notes. Okay, for that to happen, just click here on this plus icon and connect with Google Drive once again. You can just copy paste the step as well. And the action event I'm going to use now is update a file. Let me show you that. Update content in a file. Select this option. Then click on connect button. Use your save connection. Click on save one more time. And we are connected again. And here it is asking for the files name on which you want to update. So every time this workflow is going to trigger, the file's name is going to change according to the note page's name. Okay, and here in the previous step, you can see when we have created a file corresponding to the note page, we have received an ID of the file. This is the newly created ID of the file. So I'm going to map this ID here in this choose file field so that every time the notes will be uh, copied into the right document or, or in the proper document. Okay, so we are connecting all these steps. Okay, so click on uh, toggle this map button to on. Okay, erase this field completely. And from the last step, map the ID of the file. All right, then it will ask what contained that you want to put in the file. So I want that my notes that I have uh, that have got in this exact same format by using some features here in this result label in the result table of text formatter number four i want that this result should be added inside the file for that to happen just come here on this file content field and click here and from this number four step map the result label like this and here you can see let me show you my google drive folder because we have already created a file okay let me show you here you can see the file is already created named as new test page, but this file is right now blank. Let me click on save and send test request button here and see if we got the data added also. So we are done now. Let us check the file. Okay, so I have opened the file for you and here you can see in the fresh, freshly created file, we got the content of my notes that I have here in my note page in OneNote application, exactly in the same format, I got the notes here in a document in Google Drive, you can see. This is how it is going to work. So we are done completing the automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you do not even have to open this workflow. It will go, going to trigger automatically whenever you are going to add a new page inside your OneNote. A document will be created with your notes in your Google Drive automatically and you'll get the backup. And guys, I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.